How you doing folks, what's up? It is that time of year again when I've done the work for you in selecting 10 of the best Christmas gift ideas to give to Formula One or motorsport fans around the world. So if that person is you, these are ideas that you can drop in subtly into conversations with your loved ones or if you've got a loved one or a great friend who is a race fan, there are some brilliant ideas here. I've picked 10, I've actually got 11, but I've picked 10, I'll explain that in a moment. And actually one of the 10 that I've selected I have some extras of that I'm going to be able to give away at the end of this video. So I might even be able to cut the price of your Christmas shopping list <laughs> if you're into this kind of thing, if you stay tuned right until the very end. So let's get into it. As I said, I've got 10 of the best, but of course there's an 11th one that I could not not put in. <laughs> and there it is, my book. If you haven't got it already, it is a perfect stocking filler. Uh, it's available in paperback. It's actually also, let's have a look, it's available uh, on Amazon and loads of other places, Waterstones in the UK, books, loads of bookstores, but also available for delivery on Amazon. And look at that, it's cheap. It's a stocking filler. It's uh, also available in audio book form because I actually recorded that myself. So I've read the entire book in a recording studio. Uh, lots of people have messaged me saying, it was great and it was really funny. Perhaps the funniest bit was my impression of Kimmy whilst I'm reading Kimmy's lines in the book. So if you want to know that, if you want to see that, go check it out. Uh, there's some great pictures in there, great stories from you know, my time in the sport, time working with Kimmy, uh, being part of the pit stop 2007, of course, working at MTC, as I say, the pit stop crew there, working with Ron Dennis. Um, loads of really great stories. Uh, Kimmy with his blue hands. If you don't yet know the story of why Kimmy in that picture there is scrubbing his bright blue hands at the end of the Brazilian Grand Prix of uh, 2006, well, you need to read that story. It's all in there. It's available also in uh, Dutch, if you're Dutch, I know lots of you are, and it's also available in Polish, if you're that way inclined. <laughs> there you go, so loads of options, but definitely worth checking out. Anyway, that's not really part of the top 10, uh, but it's there available for you if you would like to have a look at it. Now, let's get into the, uh, the 10 that I've selected here. Now this first one, probably not really something I'm expecting many of you to go out and buy uh, necessarily because it is not cheap. I've put this on there because it's absolutely awesome. I mean, this is my ideal gift. I love Formula One. I love coffee, and what we've got here is an unbelievably detailed 90s era Formula One engine inspired coffee machine. Check these things out. They are unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, when I say they're not cheap, 13,000 euros. <laughs> so a select number of clientele, I imagine, out there for this kind of thing. I need one of these. Wow. There you go. That's the first idea. Second one, perhaps not obvious. I mean, look, I'm looking at a jewellery site here. Uh, this is somebody I follow on Instagram. It's uh, Alyssa Smith. And um, she has uh, an, an incredible range of, uh, range of jewellery, but she has a motorsport section. And if we have a little look at the site here, she has got an incredible array of really nice detailed little pieces of jewellery. There's a carbon fibre bead there to go on a necklace. There's a Lewis is 44, of course. Um, there's all sorts of, of really nice stuff. Uh, a tyre, Formula 1 tyre, uh, a little jewelled spanner. In fact, look at that, someone should buy that for me. Brilliant, I love it. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Look at this, I really like this as well. Checkered flag charms, uh, aren't they cool? So just a little bit different, something a little bit unusual, and that's the point of this list. Hopefully it's ideas that are not the obvious ones, but something a little bit different. So cool stuff there from Alyssa Smith. Check her out on Instagram as well. Uh, right, this next thing, I was actually hoping to have some here, uh, but unfortunately they were, they've been slightly delayed in their delivery. You may have seen it if you watched last year's video around this because I just discovered it at that point and thought they were awesome, but it's back. And it's back because I still think they're awesome and I still think they're incredibly unique. Uh, and if you want something very different to give the motorsport fan in your life, these racing chocks are just brilliant. Of course, chocolate uh, crash helmets inspired by the most famous racing drivers. Uh, there's an incredible array of them, of different designs, helmet designs, but also of uh, the, the fillings, which are, mwah, I mean, I love chocolate as well, so this is another, another perfect gift for me. Um, and this year, they have also come up with, unfortunately, it's not available, it's out of stock, 
That's how popular it is. But look, a full chocolate Formula One car. How cool is that? Uh, some really beautiful designs. Some of them you will recognise. You can also have bespoke designs put on these as well if you want to search for corporate gifts, that kind of thing. So loads to check out at the Racing Chocks website. Right, next up. This is a company that you will already know if you follow my channel because they've been helping me out and partnering with me all year. It is the gpbox.com, but I specifically wanted to point you in the direction of something that I think is really quite nice and unique. If you type in carbon fiber on their website, it'll bring up a whole host of gifts made from or inspired by carbon fiber. And there's one particular company on here that I really, really like the look of. Simply Carbon Fibre. They make a whole host of things from rings to watches, uh, phone cases, um, sunglasses, as you can see there. Some really nice and fairly unique stuff. But there's one thing, they've even got a hat that's made out of carbon fibre mesh. How cool is that? Um, so some really nice stuff on there. But the one thing I really wanted to point out to you that I like a lot is this. Look at that. If you've got an Apple iPhone, if you've got a, pa a pair of AirPods, then you need one of these, a little carbon fibre case for your AirPods. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but again, just a really nice and unusual, reasonably unique gift. So that's why it's on it. Right, this next gift is at the upper end, let's say. It's not quite the 13,000 euro end of the range, but uh, we're talking around about a thousand pounds for a full day, half of that for half a day, uh, at Palmer Sport. Welcome to Palmer Sport, a truly thrilling and authentic motorsport experience. Get behind the wheel of a stunning lineup of impressive machines in one adrenaline fueled day at Bedford Autodrome, a purpose built race circuit complex created with speed and space in mind. And the thing about Palmer Sport, the reason it's on here is this is a very special experience for a race fan. Not only do you get to drive a really nice array of vehicles over the course of the day, but the instruction you get is just brilliant. I've been here and done it myself. It is very, very cool. You get full access to all of those cars, which are incredible, on a great little circuit, proper little old school circuit at Palmer Sport. Uh, you can also get videos made of the day as well, but just an amazing experience. As I say, not cheap, it's not a stocking filler, but if you're looking for something very special, perhaps for somebody very special, that is not a bad place to start. This one is, there's lots of these kinds of things where piece, people are making things out of car parts. Etsy is a really kind of popular place for this kind of thing. There's loads of stuff made from gear ratios, brake discs, but I particularly like this one. It's a little desk clock made, of course, from uh, a Marussia uh, F1 wheel nut. Look at that, the wheel gun slots over the top of that wheel nut and then hammers against these little uh, pieces of the aluminium wheel nut. You can see the, um, the, the wear and tear that it's had. Uh, so it shows you that it's definitely been used uh, in pit stops and in, in race situations. Um, so I just think it's a nice piece to own. There's their view from the back. It's got this nice long lead on the back that slots it over the hub uh, tries to prevent you from cross-threading it with these huge, really coarse threads, only about three or four rotations on those threads to get the wheel nut completely done up. That's what enables the pit stop to happen so quickly. Uh, and that's, of course, the chamfered seat that sits up against the, uh, the wheel rim itself. So a really nice piece. Right, now this next one, perhaps not a place you'd imagine I'd be sending you, but I'm going to send us to the Formula One store. And the reason I'm doing that is because since Formula One were taken over by Liberty and changed their branding, of course, a couple of years ago, changed the logo, they've actually gone very much more design orientated. They've got a marketing department now. Some of their clothing, some of their accessories are actually a lot cooler than, than I actually thought they probably were. And the piece that I particularly want to show you on here, because I really quite like it, mainly because it's subtle, is this. Look at that. The Formula One leather wallet. Um, the reason I like that so much is it's just really subtle. It's got the logo embossed in the corner, but it's just in the same colour as the leather. It's not standing out, it's not garish, it's not um, gimmicky or cheap. It's a really nice piece. It's on sale at the moment as well, so look, 20 quid. Uh, not too bad at all. But, um, but there you go. The F1 website is a place well worth checking out for Christmas gifts this year. 
Uh, right, now this next one is a book, and oh, hang on, the door's going. Uh, sorry about that, but this is quite interesting because I think, uh, I think the, uh, the racing chocks have just arrived, believe it or not. <laughs> that was good timing. Check these out. Look, when I said the packaging was really nice, it really is. And then look at these. I've had these before, so I know how good they taste and how good they look. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Can you see them? There's a, a Jensen Button one in there. There's a Sebastian Vettel one, Senna. They are just beautiful, really nice items. And uh, I can promise you, they taste absolutely awesome as well. And unfortunately, these won't last very long. But 15 quid, all right, not cheap for a set of six chocolates, but they are very special chocolates and would make a really nice Christmas gift stocking filler for somebody. So definitely worth checking out Racing Chocks. They really are very cool. Right, back to this next one. Um, this one's a book. Now it's called uh, How to Be Formula One Champion, and it comes from a guy called Richard uh, Porter. Now some of you will know who Richard Porter is. He is the man behind making the guys on Top Gear and now the Grand Tour funny. <laughs> Richard Porter is the script editor uh, at those places, at those TV shows. He also runs a very funny website called Sniff Petrol. And this book is equally as funny. It's an absolute satirical look uh, at being a Formula One driver and how to be a Formula One champion, as it says. Uh, less than a tenner, so a really nice stocking filler. Uh, and it's just a very funny, light-hearted look at everything, from how to design your crash helmet to be the best that it can be, um, what your social media should look like for the best Formula One drivers, even what your hairstyle and, uh, and beard, which one works best for the best Formula One drivers, and of course, how to celebrate on the podium. So it's all very jokey, very funny, very, very light-hearted, as I say, uh, but a really nice little book, and not, again, not one of the obvious books. Right, now, next one on the list, you have seen this before, Omologato, a company that I love. I mentioned this last year, actually, and I'm mentioning it again because it's still so cool, and they're growing massively in the world of motorsport. Motorsport watches, they are killing it right now. They're building a community of people who are obsessed with these watches, and they have a massive range now in 2019. There's all sorts of different watches, but all motorsport inspired. In fact, I've got one myself. I have got uh, the Racing Black, there we go, you can see that, which I really, really love. Uh, it's a Le Mans Racing Black edition uh, by Omar Legato, and I personally think they're really cool, not only because they're motorsport inspired, but yet not, they're not merch, they're not cheap and gimmicky, they are subtle and really quite beautiful. So that's why I like them. And the nice thing about these is, yes, they're not perhaps a stocking filler, but equally in the world of watches, they're not the most expensive watches in the world. They are actually very affordable when it comes to really nice watches. So well worth a look. Uh, again, a bit more of a serious present, but well worth a look. Uh, they've actually just announced very recently that uh, sponsorship of McLaren's uh, IndyCar program, so you'll like to see the logo popping up more and more if you follow uh, those guys. Right, that's the end of those. I've got one more gift that I really love, and I'm pleased to say I've got this one here. Let me just lift this over. It comes from boxboxbox.com, uh, which have produced this really quite beautiful, let me just close that, really quite beautiful um, Formula One calendar. What I really love about this is the attention to detail that has gone into making it, designing it, packaging it. it. Comes in a really nice set of packaging, wrapped up beautifully, but inside this orange wrapping, there's actually, a, it's, it's beautiful. It's like, you know when you open a, like an Apple iPhone for the first time, the packaging is almost as beautiful as the product itself. That's what's gone on here. It's on really, really nice, uh, sort of um, high quality card and it's basically a series of images really nice motorsport images but also if you're not using it as a calendar on the back is the image itself which you can then put in its little stand it's just a brilliant gift because it invokes emotion the moment you get you know the, the pack the wrapping paper off it's so nicely designed it's the kind of thing that 
given my kind of Formula One and particularly my McLaren levels of OCD, this is the perfect gift for me because they put attention to detail into every single part of the design, the quality of the materials, the quality of the images, the finish of the materials, and the packaging itself. I've got three of them to give away. You lucky, lucky people, and thank you very much to the kind people at Box, Box, Box. So all I'm gonna do, because this has worked really well on my other YouTube videos for the other giveaways that we've done this year, is I'm gonna do this through Instagram and Twitter. So I am going to put pictures of these and the, and the calendar here uh, on my Instagram. I will also put the same picture on my Twitter. And all I need you to do on Twitter, I just want you to retweet my post, uh, on Instagram, I want you to tag in the comments of my post another Formula One fan who might enjoy this. That's it, that's all you have to do. And I will then go through in a couple of days time and pick out three winners at random and will do my very best to make sure you get this before Christmas, depending on where you are in the world, of course. A uh, little caveat there. <laughs> but uh, I will do my very best to get it in the post ASAP. So check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter. You can enter on both if you want to double your chances, that's absolutely fine. And I'll go through in a couple of days. What's today? Today is Wednesday. Let's say I'll go through on Friday and I will pick three winners uh, for these three versions of this ridiculously high-end calendar. I'm not exaggerating this. It is a beautiful thing. So by all means, check it out. 20 quid if you want to buy one, by the way. Not even that expensive for what it is. A really wonderful gift. There you go. I hope there are a number of ideas there that you maybe haven't seen before, that might inspire you, that might inspire some of your loved ones. You might be able to drop some big, big hints uh, if you've seen something that you particularly like. But thank you so much, guys, for all your support all year. Uh, enjoy your Christmas. I mean, I'm not signing off for the year yet, but enjoy your Christmas. I hope you maybe get some of these gifts or buy them for your friends. As I say, everything will be linked in the, in the description of the video below. Uh, Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give it a thumbs up and a like, that would be really appreciated. And I'll catch you very soon. Ta-da.